Welcome to the Idi Amin's armory that was constructed by the Israel in the early 1970s but later turned into a torture chamber where thousands of Ugandans lost their lives. Be my tourist. And it's down there, you see? Here. They had to drag people and take them. Hey, one, say you. Right. But why does why do they turn it into a torture chamber at uh, all of a sudden? Now when I mean not that uh, Obote was in Tanzania mm -hmm. uh, coming up with the Tanzanian forces yeah. which he later did in the 1980s Bro, ah okay Oh, we can buy this one So, these are the chambers, right? That people uh, yeah, were brought So now, the structures that they told us mm -hmm. Amaris are built in such a format. Amaris, yeah. Where trucks just reverse mm -hmm. to load and offload the weapons. Okay. And the size of the trucks is just as you see this entrance. Yes. So the place had the gate that when you are brought inside here, there's no way you could escape. Oh, uh, never. Yes. So the five room cells you see, yeah. they acted as weapon cells, but yeah. later on they were turned into prison cells. They had sliding doors. Okay. Where are the where are the doors now? Were they taken? Uh, out? The doors were taken out by the last group of soldiers. Okay. Long to this in 1997. Mm -hmm. um, whenever it would rain, the green straight line you yeah. see. This one here. It would go onto the level of the water. Yeah. And uh, whenever I mean would spy on you, mm -hmm. you would be automatically brought in here. You couldn't survive. So, for those who were brought in here, one would be uh, blindfolded, yeah, and then uh, they throw you in a salon carpet. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they drive you for a period of six to seven hours, making you think they have taken you very far. And then they bring you here. Yeah, they are bringing you here. Most people go from the outskirts of Kampala and the suburbs of Kampala, plus the business center itself. Mm -hmm. Kampala. Mm -hmm. So he mainly targeted the lawyers, the university dons, the intellectuals, Why? the clergy, yeah. and some civilians. Okay. So whenever you will be brought in here, this place had an electric cable. Yeah? It had an electric cable, right? Yes. Yeah? yeah? That would go into the water down for the water to be electrified. Yeah? So it had a switch. Yeah? The side. This was where the switch was, yes. right so here. So whenever they bring in people, they will turn off the switch so that people can move into this corridor where there is water. Yeah? Yes. And, uh... So, when they, when, like, when they close, they switch on so you cannot, like, run out? Yes. Okay. This person leaves a message that I can't see there, but then he was killed by Obote, but he left a message talking to Obote. So that means that it was not only Idi Amin. We shouldn't, like, make, like, blame it on Amin only. Or but himself, this the the, this, the the right king and the staff was like you've or but you've killed me, but my children. So the guy was like, what were his own children? Yes. So a lady who lost her husband still here. Mm -hmm. She left, she came here with the last group of soldiers to leave the palace, mm -hmm. and then she left a message saying, I will never forget my husband mm -hmm. who was killed by the people of Obote. That's like this. This was a lady who lost her man, and she she leaves a message. I will never forget my husband, who was killed by the people of Obote. Yeah. Okay. Is those who had the good money, like you know, good from from good families, they paid off the officers, and this was their escape route. Like this, uh, yeah, like a like a narrow tunnel. They could like run off from here and then yeah survive. Those who are lucky. You come from a poor family. You, we always starved to death and majority died because not everybody was a clergy from Uganda, I would, I would say. But those, the lucky ones, that was the escape route, the hope for them. Mm -hmm. Just to remember what happened in the palace. Okay, so it's like a monument yes, it is that like uh, Amin used to attack. Of course. Okay, guys, this is like a Chikompala, like, you know. Uh, cannon. cannon, boom! I better not put my head there, but I, I like it. I think it's like good uh, history here, and these are the stuff I mean used to uh, ku, 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 kulumba the the palace. What we saw up there, the palace. So yes, 
Oh, cool. This was the one of the cars for the king. Yes. And this looks cars. like a, a very like luxurious be, a car. Yes. Kabaka's cars like uh, different like three of them and all of them were vandalized when like he was attacked. And he's telling me the Roy's Lois only have the this you see the rim the are the, uh, uh, that's the Roy's Royce very expensive car by then and uh, they were all vandalized by uh, Amin and uh, yeah when they attacked the uh, the uh, the palace yes